Welcome to Itchy Techie channel. In this video I am showing you how to connect your Android phone to Windows 11. First, open the phone app using Windows Search. And I have pinned it to the taskbar for ease of use. You can see the Use Your Phone From Your PC window. Select the Android option and click on the Continue button. It will ask you to sign in to your Microsoft account. I am going to select my current Microsoft account and sign in with it. The next step is the installation of the Your Phone Companion app on your mobile device. You can enter www.aka.ms slash your PC address on the phone browser. It will take you to Google Play Store and prompt you to install the mobile app. If you have already installed it on your phone, it will open the app for configuration. Or you can open the Google Play Store app and search for your phone companion, link to Windows, and install it on the phone. I am using the second method here. It may take a little time to download and install. You can see these steps on the PC phone connecting window with an animation. I am going to open the application. Now check the I have the companion app ready on your PC and click pair with QR code. It will create a QR code and display it on the screen. Now select the link your phone and PC option on the mobile app. Your mobile phone will ask for permission to take pictures and record videos using your phone companion. You need to allow this to proceed to the next step. When you grant the permissions you can scan the QR code on the screen using the phone camera. Then it will automatically pair the PC and the mobile phone. After pairing you have to grant the following permissions to the your phone companion. To access photos, media, and files on the phone, to end and view SMS messages, to make and manage phone calls, and your phone companion, to access the phone contacts. Now the phone companion app will ask to run in the background and will ask you for power saving exclusions. You need to select exclude option. Now the device pairing is completed and both the devices are connected. It may ask your permissions to send usage data to Microsoft. I do not want to allow this. Now you can start using the phone app from the PC. It will show you a task window to start. You can use send text messages, view photos, see notifications, make a call or just skip to your phone application. I am going to see my phone notifications on the PC. The PC app asks for phone permission to sync notifications. Click on the open settings on phone button. The mobile phone shows you to allow notification access for your phone companion. When you turn it on, the phone asks for your confirmation and allows the permissions. The Your Phone PC app starts to show your mobile phone notifications on the notifications window. You can close these notifications and you may see the same notifications from the mobile will be removed. Customize link allows you to manage notifications related settings. The messages option shows your mobile phone messages. And you can view the messages thread by selecting the message from the messages panel. You can add emojis, add GIF files or attach a file to the message using given links. 
To type the message you can use the send a message area and click on the arrow to send. And you can send a new message to a new recipient using the new message option below the messages in the window. The next option is photos. You can browse your photos on the phone using this option. Click on a photo to preview it. Then you can open it using the default image app on the PC. There are options to copy, save as, share, delete, or open with a different app on the PC. You can use the calls option to call your phone contacts through the PC. Before that, you need to turn on Bluetooth on your PC and the mobile phone, and should be paired with both devices through Bluetooth. Um, it looks like an issue with the Bluetooth. Let's check what can I do. I am going to check for Bluetooth devices. My phone name can be seen on the devices list. But it shows couldn't connect error when trying to add. It seems like the Bluetooth device did not detect by the OS. I am going to restart the computer and check. Here we go. Now the Bluetooth icon is showing in the taskbar. Let's connect the mobile phone and the phone application on the PC. Now the phone app automatically detects the phone and pairing with it. Now click on the send permissions button, then click on connect. It will sync the recent calls history to the calls window. You can search for contacts from the top right search option of the window. Or you can dial the number using the keypad. Now I am going to take a phone call using the PC. Can we say PC call for calling from the PC? Let's try to call someone. You can view more details of the call using the drop-down arrow. Now let's check how to connect the phone and PC app manually using a PIN code. I am going to remove my connected phone. Let's link a new device. I am following the same steps I did earlier to configure the mobile app with the PC. On the PC app pair devices window check the I have the companion app ready option and select the pair manually option below the pair with QR code button. Then the button text changed to create pin code. Click on the create pin code button and the PC app will generate a pin code. The next step is with the mobile phone. I am deleting my mobile app data and cache, which will allow me to configure the app from the beginning. This step may differ as per the device brand, model, or Android version or you can just uninstall the app and reinstall it from the Play Store. Open the mobile app and select the Link Your Phone and PC option. It will show you to continue with the QR code. Allows permissions now. Select the Try Another Way option below the QR scanner. 
It will show you to sign in with a Microsoft account. Select that option and enter your Microsoft account details. It will ask you to enter the PIN code generated by the PC app. Enter the PIN code and select the Continue button. Next, it will ask for app permissions. Allow these permissions and continue. Now your phone and the PC are linked. Grant other permissions as described earlier. You can use the PC app now while connected to the mobile phone. And that's all for this video. We shall meet again in the next video on how to connect Windows 11 PC to your smart TV. Thank you.